Yesterday, we got some concerning news about draft prospect Jalen Carter. He since came out and talked about it. We're going to talk about his comments and how much this is really going to affect his draft stock. And should the Bears even still be interested in Jalen Carter? We also have comments from Will Anderson on and Tyree Wilson, both defensive linemen, on what it would mean to them to join the Bears. And we got Mel Kuyper and his thoughts on what the Bears should do in their trade with the number one overall pick. We're going to get into all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. All right, Bears fans, welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central. I'm the host here, Hayes. You can follow me right off the top at CEO Hayes. Now, let's get into it today. So, as many, you know, in the whole football world saw is that Jalen Carter uh, did have uh, warrants issued for his arrest. Now, both these warrants are misdemeanors in the state of Georgia, so we'll see what that ends up turning into. But the conversation around it enough has been enough for him to considerably fall in many mock drafts. Now, some Bears fans are looking at this and, and wondering, like, if you still believe in the in the talent of Jalen Carter, do you still draft him regardless of this issue going on with him? We've seen before draft prospects affected by uh, things like this, and they drop considerably down in the draft. So we'll see what that means for Jalen Carter. But for his words, he has talk, came out and talked about it. And he said this. This morning, I received a telephone call from Athens, Georgia Police Department informing me that two misdemeanor warrants have been issued for me for reckless driving and racing. Numerous uh, media reports have circulated this morning containing inaccurate information concerning the tragic events on January 15, 2023. It is my intention to return to Athens to answer the misdemeanor charges against me and make, a, make certain that the complete and accurate truth is presented. There's no question in my mind that when all of the facts are known, that I will be fully exonerated of any criminal wrongdoing. Now, those are comments directly from um, from Jalen Carter. And so, it, it you know, yes, it sucks. Yes, you know, it, 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 this going on, uh, it sucks that it came in, in somebody losing their life. But it is serious enough to where teams may now be looking at, you know, maybe drafting other players. We've said it before. There are a lot of good defensive linemen in this draft. There were two that were clearly head and shoulders above the rest in Jalen Carter and Will Anderson. Um, but players and teams that are teams, I should say, that are looking for defensive linemen still can get some pretty damn good defensive linemen. It's just that Will Anderson and Jalen Carter were looked at as the generational talents in this draft. So I'm going to throw to you guys with kind of everything that's come out now. The fact that it's misdemeanors doesn't seem like it's going to be anything. It, I don't want to say because it's definitely serious, right? So I don't want to make light of a situation that is very serious and say that it's not as. It's a very serious situation, but it seems like the way that things are going to go, I doubt he's going to do, you know, at one point it looked like, hey, with the way that people were talking and he may do some jail time, I doubt that. But I do think his draft stock is going to fall considerably. And depending on what the Bears do, maybe they could get him later in the draft. But, you know, let me know down below, would you still want to see the Chicago Bears draft Jalen Carter? Do you want to see them stay completely away from it? Now, one of the players that the, Bull, the Bulls, the Bears may pivot to with Jalen Carter maybe coming off their boards is Will Anderson Jr. And for many Bears fans, this is the player that they wanted to see the Bears draft regardless, even before this news came out. And Will Anderson uh, Jr. actually talked about the Chicago Bears, and he was asked specifically about being drafted number one overall, which we know is probably not going to happen, but he did say this. It would mean a lot. All my hard work paying off just to have that spot. It's big time. I really appreciate that opportunity. But then when he was asked about how his meeting with the Chicago Bears went, he said this. It went really good. I went in there, watched tape. They got to know me. I got to know them. The culture is great there. And I could tell they're on to something special. Whatever culture I'm in, I'm going to do things the right way. I think that's what sets me apart. And especially considering when you hear the um, stuff around Jalen Carter, hear somebody come in and talk about doing things the, the right way. You know, it's poignant. And I wouldn't be surprised if those talking points were kind of given to him from his, his agent uh, coming into, you know, with what's going on with Jalen Carter. But Will Anderson is still a hell of a talent. The biggest question around him is scheme fit. But because of the talent, you hope that that talent's going, going to work out and win out at some point. Now, with Will Anderson as well, lately in this draft combine, over the last couple of days, he's been getting comparisons to Nick Bosa, who Nick Bosa is a monster and a beast. And I've said before, too, I've had I had my um, preference over of Jalen Carter to me before the combine and things like that. But I've always said that you can't go wrong with Will Anderson either. And so, you know, we'll end up seeing where this goes and where the Bears go with this. I would not mind Will Anderson on this team at all. I think that he is a player that is going to 
if anybody's going to maximize on their potential, Will Anderson is definitely that, that type of player. And we'll see what the Bears end up thinking of him. Now, another defensive lineman as well, Tyree Wilson, has actually had two meetings with the Chicago Bears over this time. And he'd definitely be available in that, in that four to nine spot for the Chicago Bears. And he said that he met with the Bears twice, and he had this to say about the Bears. Great energy, love the coaches, love the GM. They got great coaches, and I would be excited to play for the Bears. I'm a great worker and passionate about football. I'm going to take that, the organization, to another level. And again, I've said this before. Tyree Wilson is probably the third uh, prospect as far as on the uh, defensive lineman in this draft. And depending on what the Bears do with the trade, I know there's been some some talk of the, you know, trading with the Texans, if you can get that, uh, their number two and their number 12 pick. Um, and I do, I can see the Bears going multiple defensive linemen in this draft. I just don't think that you're going to get a Will Anderson, a Jalen Carter, and, and a Tyree Wills, two out of those three. Um, but if the Bears do trade further down, right, and you know, there's been talk about the Bears trading down twice, uh, Tyree Wilson could be that selection for the Chicago Bears. So the, the Bears are going to do their due diligence over this offseason. They're going to interview everybody who's in their range or could they could possibly pick. They're going to interview. They're going to talk to. They're going to do their, their due diligence and look at everyone. But, you know, Tyree Wilson is still looked at about a ring below uh, Will Anderson and Jalen Carter in that case, but he's still a hell of a talent in this draft. And, you know, some of the things around him that just say how good he is, um, you know, he's at great size, he's dominant, he has versatility in, in the positions that you can use him in, which could bode well for the Bears and how they build that defensive line in the future. His, 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 his speed on the edge is a little bit questionable at times with him. Um, and some people talk about, like, his quickness, but the athleticism kind of not matching up to that. So there, there's some questions around Tyree Wilson. But again, Tyree Wilson, uh, edge out of Texas Tech, 6'6", 275 pounds. The Bears could do a lot wrong, more, a lot worse than Tyree Wilson. So we'll see what ends up happening. I love the conversations. I love that Ryan Poles is, and, and the, the Bears coaches are putting an impression on these younger players and they're understanding what they would be getting by coming to an organization of the Chicago Bears that are really trying to rebuild in full and get back to that point of contending. Now, we got another, uh, Will, uh, Mel Kuyper was on Waddle and Sylvie, and he talked about the Bears and their potential trading uh, uh, that number one pick, and he says this, I'd say you don't want to get past five. You're losing a defensive player that you really need up front, and that's where I say if you get the four pick, then you're guaranteed it. If you get five, you probably just three quarterbacks go. Um, you're still probably okay, but you got to be really careful. So Mel Kuyper there, you know, saying that the Bears, you know, they want to be careful on how far that they trade down. And I've been seeing a lot of you guys in the comments saying that the Bears should trade down twice. You know, a lot of you guys have been saying that. But really, when you look at that top level uh, defensive line talent in this draft, you want to get one of those guys. And I understand the concept of trading down and getting more assets back and things like that. It's not necessarily getting the, getting the, the highest number of picks back right. Uh, it's about getting the right picks, being able to draft the right players. You don't need... Uh, 15 bites at the apple if you know your guy you do your research and you get the right guy right so while i understand the concept of trading down twice and i know what that can mean and why bears fans are talking about that i do think that the bears you know they have to hold their cards close to the vest on top of everything but i do think that you make a trade depending on what you get back in that you make sure you secure that high level pick in this draft if you want to go after will anderson you want to go after Jalen carter or if the bears do have for some reason on their board they actually rank tyree wilson ahead of will anderson then maybe you can do that but you know at the end of the day ryan poles is going to do his due diligence and when you're hearing him talk about kind of his methodology at this draft combine getting as much face-to-face -face time with players as he can it's important he's really trying to get a feel not only for what the players do off on the field but also how they're going to be off the field and how that's going to help build the Chicago Bears culture this winning culture that they're trying to develop here so you know you have to do the things right and while I understand the merits and the desire of trading down and trading back twice but at the end of the day like if you see a guy and you have a guy on your board that you think is head and shoulders above everyone else if they rank Will Anderson or Jalen Carter like most people did especially before the news about Jalen Carter then you have to just get that guy you have to focus on making sure you trade to a level to where you can still get that guy so you know we'll see what happens um with that and with the team and I do trust as I've been saying I trust Ryan Poles to do the right thing I trust Ryan Poles to get the job done right yes the football world got thrown a bit of a curveball in regards to the situation with Jalen Carter, and that's going to affect 
team's draft boards more than likely, unless he gets this wrapped up quickly where he is fully exonerated before the draft where the, the cops come out and be like, you know what, actually, everything's good here. He's good. I think it's still going to affect that draft stock. Now, if that does come out and if he is fully exonerated as he thinks that he's going to be and says that he should be, um, at the end of the day, then, you know, you, you then you do what you have to do, right? You draft who you have to draft. You draft the talent and hope that it works out. The character issues, I do think that that may be a red flag for the Chicago Bears in their front office, especially, like I said, trying to build a winning culture. But there is some very deep talent in this draft. And if you can get one of those top-level talents and then do the right things lower in the draft, the Bears are going to come with this with a haul one way or another. And hopefully they also get some future assets back, which has been my kind of biggest focus on this, is what can you get back also to kind of set yourself up in the right situation going forward into maybe next year's draft, especially this team improves enough in, 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 in this year to where they maybe flirt with a playoff, maybe make the playoff as a wild card, things like that. You'll see what they can do. Um, now, I do want to talk about before we go, the recent comments uh, with the trade partners that the Bears could have. And one of the things is the coach GM, Chris Ballard, after saying initially afterwards they would do anything for their number one pick, he kind of, he said this, he says, I know this was coming up because I know all the speculation out there. One, to move up, there's got to be a guy worthy of it. This is what great, well, this is what, this is what's great right now. Everybody has just automatically stamped that you've got to move up to get one to get it right. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't, but that's going to be the narrative and that's okay. But I don't know if that's the right course of business when we meet as a staff and we say, okay, this is what we need to do. This guy for the next 10 to 15 years, and we think he's the right guy, sure, we'll do it. But who's to say we won't get one at four? So, you know, the, it's posturing. That's what that is. That's the coach GM knowing that, you know, his words after that, that end of the season were going to be used. And it's posturing, right? And, you know, it, it's going to happen a lot, especially this time over the – um. The, the draft combine, you're going to see a lot of posturing from GMs. The Texas GMs, Nick uh, Casario said this, we'll look at all of that. We actually have a trade chart simulator where you factor in the points and what, what's the cost associated with it. I would say it's twofold. Some teams have analytically driven chart. Here, uh, here's what the, the, the summation of the numbers is. And then you have Jimmy Johnson chart. I think most teams are still using the traditional Jimmy Johnson chart as a reference point, but each team has its own sort of model. And so, you know, more posturing. Again, you're going to see it. So even the Texas head coach got into it. At the end of the day, you have a lot of teams that are interested in that pick. And they're, they're going to posture. They're going to try to figure it out. And whatever it ends up shaking out to is going to be what it's going to be. But I think the Bears are going to make the best decision in a case like that. I have trust for Ryan Poles. And this draft combine situation has been fun. And I'll be back tomorrow with more combine prospects, more interviews that we've had. It was the linebackers and defensive linemen yesterday. Not sure what's up today, but we'll continue breaking it down and make sure you guys are tuned in right here on this channel because we're going to be the number one spot for any type of Bears news. If anything comes out, news drops, we drop. It's a very simple process here. But make sure you're following the show at Shy Bears Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, chicagobearscentral at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for our mailbag episodes, the number to do so, 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. And like I liked in every episode on, Bear Down. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. Break Media.